with something just adorable we found on social media. This is what I'm liking. So usually exchanging I do's uh, involve words like to have and to hold, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, um, but not for newlyweds, Sarah and Steven. They decided to take an untraditional route by writing their own vows for each other. And they saw and spoke those words for the first time in front of family and friends during their wedding ceremony. The result was both really funny and really sweet. Sarah wrote Stephen's vows to Sarah, which he'll read out loud for the first time, and vice versa. Sarah, <laughs> you look so stunning, stunningly beautiful today. As you stand up here in front of all these wonderful people, I can't help but ask the question, how did you get so lucky? <laughs> High five, it says. We have the happy couple on the line right now watching on NBC New York. Say hi to Sarah and Steven, everybody. Hi. So how did you get this idea? It's incredibly funny. <laughs> Thanks so much. We're so excited to be here. Um, so we always knew that we wanted to write our own vows, but we've been to so many weddings over the last few years that we were kind of bored of the typical approach. Um, I was really struggling to put together my personal vows and a lifelong procrastinator. So about two weeks before the wedding, we were on a walk around the city and I was just like, would it be funny or stupid if we wrote our vows for each other? <laughs> I had written my vows already, but I wasn't particularly excited about them. I thought Sarah's idea could be a fun way to take some pressure off and uh, make it a little bit more fun. So we figured, let's give it a shot. <laughs> so what surprised you most that day? Well, for me, it was just how in sync we were and how aligned everything was. Obviously, we both joked that I was the lucky one, which is true, but it was still really funny the way it came off. Yeah, um, on my side, there were a few things. I was really surprised. One, how well Steve sang the Justin Bieber lines I put in there for him. He did a great job. <laughs> Um, but honestly, the biggest surprise was a few months later, I was just casually scrolling on TikTok and I saw a video pop up. I was like, wow, that looks really familiar. That sounds really familiar. Oh my God, that's us. Um, our photographer had posted the video and it was going totally viral and it was really insane. Obviously it led us to being here today, which we're so excited about, but yeah. That's how you found out? <laughs> yes, I was just scrolling on TikTok one day randomly, and I was like, wow, this is actually insane. We weren't even tagged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Didn't even take the time to tag me. It's fine. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's not cool. The photographer should have done that, like, giving you credit. Well, You're the ones who made it funny. <laughs> it's totally fine. We're not very We were happy she did it. Yeah, we were happy she did it. We're not made for the internet, so. No, no. Me neither. It's a whole team that tries to help me. Uh, well, thank you so much, Sarah and Steven. Good luck in life. Y'all are hilarious. You got off to a great start. I'm liking your post right now. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pen, makers of Precise, the go-to pen of the Kelly Clarkson Show, want to celebrate your love and creativity. So they're going to be writing you a check for $1,000 just because you're rad. <laughs> Tony Curran, and everyone in the ASG band, Lori, Ron, Jackson, Spencer, and Ron. Y'all have a great day, and if it's not, change it.